By now, you may have heard about Randy Pausch, a computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon University. He has pancreatic cancer and expects to live just a few months. Last week, we reported on his riveting and funny last lecture titled, How to Achieve Your Childhood Dreams, which he delivered to 400 students and colleagues. And we're not going to talk about spirituality and religion, um, although I will tell you that I have experienced a deathbed conversion. Um, I just bought a Macintosh. After his lecture, Dr. Pausch had no plans except to quietly spend whatever time he has left with his wife and three young children. But a whirlwind soon enveloped him. As video footage of his speech spread to countless internet sites, thousands of people contacted him to say that the life lessons he spoke about had made a profound impact on their lives. Bloggers worldwide wrote essays celebrating him. He was named Person of the Week by ABC News. And so we choose Professor Randy Pausch, who says he didn't give the lecture for his students as much as he did for his children. Dylan Logan. Millions more discovered him on Good Morning America. Sadly, they will probably know his recorded image better than they will remember him from life. People wanted Dr. Pausch to know that his life lessons had led them to reflect on their lives or to take concrete actions. When I was in high school, I decided to paint my bedroom. I'd always wanted a submarine and an elevator. And the great thing about this... <laughs> What can I say? Uh, <laughs> and the great thing about this in his lecture, he spoke about writing mathematical formulas on the walls of his childhood bedroom. His parents allowed it, encouraging his creativity. And anybody who is out there who is a parent, if your kids want to paint their bedroom, as a favor to me, let them do it. Okay, it'll be okay. Don't worry about resale value on the house. <laughs> this week, dozens of people emailed Dr. Pausch to say they plan to let their children paint their bedrooms. Dr. Pausch had talked about happiness and how vital it is to have fun, even in the darkest times. I mean, I, I don't know how to not have fun, right? I'm dying and I'm having fun. And I'm going to keep having fun every day I have left, because there's no other way to play it. Those comments resonated with people who were going through a divorce or have terminal illnesses or have lost loved ones. You just have to decide if you're a Tigger or you're an Eeyore. I think I'm clear where I stand on the great Tigger Eeyore debate. In his lecture, Dr. Pausch had talked about his mother's reaction when he got his PhD. After I got my PhD, my mother took great relish in introducing me as, this is my son, he's a doctor, but not the kind who helps people. It was a laugh line. Of course, he went on to help hundreds of students. In recognition of that, Carnegie Mellon has a plan to honor his memory. What you've meant to us as a colleague, as a teacher, uh, as a student, uh, and as a friend, there's just no way to capture that. There is our memories, however, and there's a way to remember you every day as people walk this campus. So we've come up with an idea. In recognition of all he has done for his students and now the wider world, Carnegie Mellon has a plan to honor his memory. As a techie with the heart of a performer, Dr. Pausch always was a link between the arts and sciences on campus. A new computer science building is being built, and a footbridge will connect it to the nearby arts building. And on behalf of the entire university, I'm pleased to announce today that the bridge connecting these two will be known as the Randy Pausch Memorial Footbridge. Dr. Pausch has asked Carnegie Mellon not to copyright his last lecture, but to leave it in the public domain. It will remain his legacy and his footbridge to the world. I'm Jeff Zaslow, Moving On columnist for the Wall Street Journal.